Well, Amy, you remember having, you know, pep rallies back in high school? Oh, my gosh, it was so much fun. It's been a while. <laughs> no, it hadn't been that long for us. <laughs> but, yes, I do still remember yeah, being. Yeah, oh, I know. It, it was fun. You oh, know, it was a blast, right? Here. Come on. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, high school in Hendersonville honored a group of students on Friday that usually are in the stands at pep rallies. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky takes us to Hendersonville High School. When you think pep rally, most people think cheerleaders, football players, maybe even the band. But for the 10th year in a row, as Hendersonville High School students filed in for the first rally of the year, a group of 70 students gathered on the sideline. That's better than anybody else in this county. Those students were recognized one by one by their principal. Here are your AP scholars, Alexis Atkins. And soon found themselves at half court in front of the whole school. It's a good way to inspire, especially like the freshmen and the sophomores who, you know, they probably haven't, they may not have taken one yet, you know. Junior year, senior year, you can take it and get that achievement. The achievement of being an AP scholar, earning college credit in high school. It felt nice to be recognized for academic scholarship rather than just anything else at the school. So it just felt good to be acknowledged. An acknowledgement that Rotaro Bath says he's worked four years for. I didn't know they did recognize like academic um, achievements until like my first prep early and it made me happy because I feel like sometimes that gets overlooked and being being able to be recognized for something like that kind of solidifies your achievement a little more. It's a tradition at this high school that began with a new principal a decade ago. It's huge. First pep rally of the year, very first group to get introduced, and they're so loud. The other kids are so loud for them, and, and they're so enthusiastic about being able to honor those kids. I think honoring the kids at the beginning of the year really helps with our recruiting into the AP program. We've grown, um, we gave 250 or 260 um, AP tests last year. Um, is the largest amount we've ever given. A public accolade that brought these students' classmates to their feet. Not for excellence in sports, but rather in the classroom. It gives a lot of effort to want to take a rigorous course throughout your high school and take out some time of having fun in order to allow yourself to challenge yourself through your classes. So I think that's very important. In Sumner County, Claire Kopsky. <laughs> News Channel 5. And we are celebrating you too here at News Channel 5. Hendersonville High School honored seniors, juniors, and six sophomores, accounting for more than 20% of the AP scholars in all of Sumner County Schools. Congratulations, of course, to all those kids.